Hey friends, Billy and Ben from LM Cases. You have the integration department at your disposal for a quick educational video. Um, so we oftentimes get very similar questions about power distros and they go something like this. I have X, can I plug it into your distro? So as you're selecting one of the many distros that we have available, I'm gonna give you guys just something to keep in mind when you're looking to spec a distro. So the number one thing that you need to ask yourself is, what is the venue that I'm plugging this into and thusly, do they have the power available and how much do my components draw? So we have two very common distros on the workbench right now. We have the D11, which is a single phase distro, and we have a D31, which is a three phase distro. Now, <clears throat> if you're doing gigs in banquet centers or you know a wedding kind of stuff, or you're a typical mobile DJ, the D11 is gonna be what you want. This is a very heavy duty uh, single phase version. It gives you a great majority of the features found in the three phase version. Um, in a single phase version. So you get power in, power out. You get a courtesy plug with USB A and C, a dedicated 15 amp breaker, a heavy duty 20 amp hydraulic breaker. And on the back, you get one, two, three, four, five, six duplex outlets for a total of 12, plus a true one, plus a power con. So you can plug in a great variety of things into this distro. This is probably gonna be what you want. Now, in calculating equipment, let's use our shop heat gun as an example. Any piece of electronic equipment is going to have a label on the back that tells you what it needs to be powered on. So this particular gun requires 60 hertz power, which is fine because we're in North America. It requires 120 volts of AC, again, fine, we're in America, and it says that it draws 1200 watts. Now the easiest way to figure out amperage if, if this gives you watts is divide your watts by your voltage. So if we take 1200 and divide that by 120, we know that our heat gun draws 10 amps. So this is a 20 amp distro, meaning if you have two heat guns, you can plug two of them into this distro. When you get into the three phase distros, this has what's called legs. So this is a hot, this is a hot, this is a hot, this is your neutral, this is your ground, okay? In entertainment world, we use what's called a three-phase Y configuration, meaning it's a five-wire configuration, three hots, a neutral, and a ground, and we split that up into legs of X, Y, and Z. So this is a breaker, this is a breaker, this is a breaker. So if you're if your building is in an industrial application where they have three-phase power available to you, you can run one singular trunk line of three-phase power to this and break it out into three circuits. Now, chances are you're not going to have that available to you. So the D11 is going to be what you want. Now, let's say you have a lot of stuff to plug in. The idea with this is you buy one or two of these to break up the circuits available because it's much easier to pop this breaker than pop a breaker in the venue. Um, you, you know, if you're in the middle of a show and something pops, you can divvy it up between say two of these, your load, or you, it's much easier to find that than going to hunt to some sub panel in your venue. Now, before you select this, again, like I mentioned, you have to ask yourself, the venues that I play what are the chances that three-phase power are going to be available? And how much does my system draw? Uh, a typical band setup that's running in-ears that say has two subs, two tops, and a digital mixer is probably only going to draw six or seven amps. So this one distro is probably going to be fine for your rig. So LM is a relatively small company. If you have any questions about this, you can email me direct. I specify most of this. Ben wires nearly all of it. 
If you have any question about your rig or any of our distros, chances are one of the two of us will respond back to you. Um, I realize this is a quick video. I just wanted to explain this. If you have any further questions, you can send me an email, billy at lmcases.com. And if you'd like to buy any of these distros or many, many more that we offer, check out lmcasesonline.com or check the links in the description for uh, purchase links for each of these. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.